start with football in this segment. We're going to talk about Christian McCaffrey. You don't know his name. Well, he's a pretty darn good running back in the NCAA. He's going to stick another year before he heads out to the pros, but it's certainly interesting in terms of what he had to say. Um, this past season, he set the all-purpose record uh, for all yardage, um, whether it came from receiving, rushing, returning special uh, as a return specialist, and he broke Hall of Famer Barry Sanders' uh, FBS record, which is, is truly remarkable in terms of it's Barry Sanders. With that said, it seems that Christian McCaffrey is being overlooked, um, whether it be the Heisman or even from NFL scouts, because of what he says is his skin color. He is white, playing a position that's dominated by black athletes. Does he have a point by saying, you know what, it's unfair that I'm being treated this way just because I'm a white person playing a running back position? let you go that way. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a big football guy. I don't really follow it, but even for that perspective, um, I don't know how much he fell off or why he's sitting out or any of it, but uh, for him to come out and say that, it's kind of a, I mean, a jab to the, all the players out there, I think, but I don't I don't even know what to, if they were to even go with that one. I'm Andrew? sorry. I just, That's they, fine. They, they put it on the field. I don't know why it even matters a yeah. little bit. Like, I, I get the point you're trying to make, but if you play up to a certain level, it doesn't matter. And he hasn't been – he's not drafted as far as I'm concerned. No. no he's still playing he's, college. He's, he's, yeah. got, he's just played his junior year, but he's being overlooked. And for me, looking at this, again, you know, as a, as a black person in the situation, at least I have a different perspective on this, I'm actually agreeing with him. I yeah. actually agree with Christian McCaffrey, and I'm like, you know what? You are unfairly being treated because you're in a position that's being dominated by blacks. It's much like yeah. saying that uh, black players cannot be quarterbacks, which we all know is is ludicrous. And as a and as a black person, I feel that even Christian himself, he is being unfairly targeted because he's a white guy playing what people say is predominantly a black position because they're faster or more agile or whatever yeah. you want to throw in there. But overall, I don't know. I see Christian McCaffrey as being right in this situation. I feel fa sorry for the kid because his work speaks for himself. It's not like he's just some average running back. Yeah. He's been putting in the yards. He just broke, like I said, Barry Sanders' single-season all-time multi-purpose yards. As a junior. Uh, as a junior. <laughs> he's still got one more year to go. Yeah. I think he's been unfairly treated. And a lot of people are saying it's because it's not just him, but it's not just, like I say, black people in general. It's not that. But it's actually white reporters who are saying, well, is it, you know, they're, not, they're overlooking him. And I feel that race does play an issue here. Like, it, I think anybody, I don't care who you are, if you're good at that position, um, even in life, even if it comes to a management position, I think it comes down to your credentials. And if you have the greatest credentials, or credentials you should go. Now, do you feel that he's still, I guess, whining in this case? Well, it's, and that's, that's the nature of sports. When we compare players, there's always the outside forces. We never actually compare player A to player B without taking a bunch of other things in. And my, my brother does this all the time where he, you know, he got mad when he's a Leafs fan and like people would criticize Dion Phaneuf. But then you look at his numbers and you compare him to another guy, but you don't name the two players and they're perfectly comparable. And I know yeah. we're just comparing, that, that's a basically a good way of looking at it, that you know, when you compare two players, we can see who's which one's one better, but then when you add the, all the extra stuff about the, you know, who the person is, you know, color for this instance, or where he comes from, then we start to our opinions change. A kind of sense, yeah, you do agree. It's, he's, you know, he, he even said it himself. He runs, you know, the same time for 40 yard dash as someone else, and he's not as explosive as that person. Yeah. What he the just hell? Ran well, the same what the hell do you want like, me to do? Yeah, yeah, exactly. If I run 40 yards <laughs> faster than you, I can't say you're explosive and I'm not. It's just in a sense. So, but I, does I guess race unfortunately play an issue in this case in a reverse role? Oh, it unfortunately does, yeah. which. And that's the NFL. That's the unfortunately yeah. culture. I've never really looked at it that way, so I'm not sh and, totally and, sure. So. <laughs> and it's fine, yeah. but you could find that like, if you had certain players that were on your team, yeah. whether if they were uh, of a different race or yeah. you know whatever you mean. I it mean in. that's that, that's that's going to be in the world no matter what. So I mean, and it's just a little microcosm. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. sports is like that, yeah. and it gets blown up a yeah, million times more. Sure. Uh, speaking of guys who get blown up a million times more, uh, LeBron James, uh, obviously <laughs> the biggest thing 
in basketball, in sports right now. However, is being criticized, not for the two losses that they had in Toronto uh, this past weekend, but for this in particular flop where he got hit by his own teammate's elbow and decided <laughs> to do probably what I think Idris Elba or any other or even uh, Leonardo DiCaprio couldn't do in terms of great acting. I yeah. thought it was awesome. Uh, however, he's being criticized for it, rightfully so. You flop, oh, it's yeah. kind of cheating. It's like players in hockey who die. I say, though, uh, that with LeBron, as good as he is, this will hurt his reputation because you don't see this from other players, right? Am I right for saying that? No, you're, you're completely right. I mean, it, it didn't look very good. It looked awful. So, And they uh, go in in slow motion. They do all that stuff to it, and it even looks worse. So uh, it's going to definitely hurt him, but he's still one of the best players out there. So it's not going to hurt him that much, but he's, uh, yeah. That didn't look good, that's for sure. Well, it looked, it did look pretty though. Like it was, it had everything you want in a great flop. Like it was, the, the hand motion, the back, the slide, it had everything. Yeah. But great players don't do that. Like great athletes, are your best all time. Michael Jordan's not flopping around. You know, no, Brian didn't flop around not too much, but he did. But great players don't do that kind of stuff. And you're in that kind of situation, and especially when your own guy hits you too. That makes it even more. It, it, he should get the criticism. You're the, the, the spokesman of the league. You're on, you're on a pedestal. Yeah. What stung the most was the Raptors got a technical on that play, and again, he was hit by his own teammate. So there you go. All right, speaking of players who get hit a lot, we'll talk about the Toronto Blue Jays, who uh, seem to be in the news every single weekend, starting up dust-ups with teams, uh, this time involving Josh Donaldson. On Saturday against the Twins, he wasn't too happy about uh, the, I guess, beaking that was coming from the Twins bench. The umpire thought it was he was directing at him. The umpire tossed him out. On Sunday, he came back with a vengeance. First game or first at bat, home run. Defensively, he was a stud, making some great stabs at third. And then he started beaking once again the, uh, I guess, Twins bench. All of a sudden, he started a couple balls being thrown his direction. He didn't like that and resulting in him coming out after the game saying, look, if you protect second baseman or shortstops from a guy sliding past third, if you're protecting catchers so they wouldn't get hit at the plate, uh, during those um, collisions and uh, and you try to protect that position why don't you protect the batters when a guy's trying to intentionally throw at you as much as I'm not a big Blue Jays fan I could care less about the Blue Jays I feel Josh Donaldson has a point Andrew does he have a point he does it's a yeah like you, if you're gonna go all these safety rules and we care about all this then you better go the whole distance you can't just pick and choose you can't just cherry pick which one you want and say, oh, we're, we're not going to protect this, but we're going to, you'll protect the batter when he's, or the outfielder when he's sliding and the catcher, but you won't protect the guy who's just sitting there getting a 100 mile an hour fastball at his head. Yeah. But on the other case, Toronto needs to shut their mouth and start playing ball. This, I said this last week. You want to be Mr. Personality, well, teams are going to do this to you, and it's going to happen a lot, and you're going to get ejected. So, you know, that's what comes with the price. It's, it's the baseball culture. I always get criticized for when I want to change baseball culture and the way the game is. Well, this is baseball culture. You want to act like this, you're going to get something thrown at you. So, Darian, last word. Or not Darian, but uh, Dave, last word. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I agree. You've got to protect the batters. I mean, uh, it's probably the most dangerous I stand in there, especially 100 mile an hour baseball, or baseball coming at you. So, <laughs> um, They've got to protect them somehow, but I'm not sure how you do it because the pitcher has full control of everything that happens. So, um, mm -hmm. I think it's got to shut up and play the game, and that's all you can do, really. All right, well, we'll end on that note on this segment. We'll return with Over Under next. <laughs>